hello YouTube, Zach Nafine here, and today, or tonight, whichever time you're watching this, this is going to be my first haul video that I've done in some time. And when I say some time, I mean some time. And the harsh reality is that this one has far, far better lighting than the original, um, because I, I was literally in my room with a flashlight under my chin just for the sake of being visible on camera. Like, it's, it's bad. I'm I'm in the shitter right now just so that I can just so that I can film this. It's that bad. Um, and for those yeah, for those of you who are going to uh, denounce me, uh, I have recently shaved, which makes my um, lycanthropic eyeliner feel out of place. Um, I don't know where you can see that, but you know, whatever. It's it's my prerogative. So the first thing in the haul was um, this pair of uh, socks that I've since turned into gloves. Um, got them at Target. They were children's gloves, at, you know, children's socks uh, at first, but you know, I figured, you know, if they're gonna fit as well as they do as gloves, you know, why not wear them as an adult? Because yeah, whatever, why not? I just cut them into gloves though, so if they fray after a while, you know, whatever. Maybe I can burn them. Maybe I can uh, burn the edges. You know, obviously not the gloves themselves, uh, but whatever, you know. I hear that clear nail polish also works as a substitute uh, by by rumor or whatever. Next thing is um, this black sweater. And uh, if you know me by now, you'll know that I fucking love London After Midnight. So I've been wanting a black sweater just like Sean sometime now. And uh, we were at Old Navy the other um, couple hours ago. And um, I almost said the other day. I got this all today. Um, could you tell that I'm sleep deprived? Uh, but yeah, it's just this plain black sweater. It's um, not really all that visibly knitted. It's a long sweater, too. Like, this thing, it, it's like a band shirt, almost. But, you know, con it's considering it still has yet to be washed, that's probably why, you know, it'll, it'll eventually shrink if it's all cotton or whatever. I don't really bother to check these things out. But, yeah, it's a really, really lovely sweater. Um, nothing printed on it or anything. And it's not V-neck. I hate v-neck sweaters, and I friggin' love the standard, you know, circular necks. So this is, um, this is, it's nice. And, um, uh, because me, me and my bro, we got this, uh, tradition going on where, uh, it, it doesn't even have to be for any particular occasion, you know. We could be sitting on our asses, um, watching a movie, or playing cards, or, you know, just chatting about controversy, and or having some of it ourselves. And uh, what we'll do is we'll actually split some Slim Jims. Not sponsored, just um, just like to snap into these. Next thing um, I got over at Spirit. And I've been wanting to get my slick mitts on one of these since I was 14. And I finally got my wish. It's a syringe pen and it writes in red. It clicks just like the real thing. And then there's a white switch up here that you push to get it back in. Do you hear that loud that is? I specifically picked this one out because they're, you know, admittedly cheaply made or whatever. But I specifically picked this. I love the fake medicine or whatever, the drugs, the fake drugs in this, the move around. It's, it's weird. It's like Red Goblin formula if you watch Spider-Man. Um, but as I was saying, you know, because these things are so mediocrely made, no offense to spirits, you really have to pick each one meticulously out if you plan on getting one of these yourself. Um, but yeah, you know, this is, uh, I'm, I'm happy to have this. I'm sick, I'm sick of my pens being stolen and or missing, so I, I doubt, it, I'm doubt, I doubt I'm gonna be able to lose this anytime soon. It's, it's easy to spot in a mess. The next thing is from spirit as well it's these um, fishnet gloves i have the original you know all the way up to the elbow type stretchy uh fishnet gloves but these ones barely pass your wrist and i thought these were a myth at first i didn't think they existed but yeah they do so they're mine now i can't wait to try them on they, they look simple but you know, the, the, they seem to be so much more than, you know, meets the eye, at least from my perspective, personally. So, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying these on, or at least wearing them around, especially during the summertime. 
when you're basically allowed to be nearly naked. At least if you're a female. Next thing, also from Spirit, I believe it's the last thing, I don't think I got that much, um, is uh, these Ouija mints. Because I was told while I was out that I had wickedly bad breath, and I figured, you know, why not? And uh, I haven't opened these yet, but if they're shaped like planchettes, I'm, I'm, I'm low-key, I'm, I'm gonna laugh. But yeah, it's just... Um, a Ouija board design, uh, mystifying mints, yeah, mystifying mints, and uh, you got the nutrition facts on the back. Apparently, five is a serving for some reason. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, headed on over to Walmart, wada 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 Walmart, and uh, <laughs> we um, picked up some. Um, I picked up some of these. Uh, Replacement pillow cushions, but cases, pillow cases, uh, pardon me, the, um, the, there's nothing wrong with the ones I have, don't get me wrong, it's just that they're the same color as my sheets, so I wanted a little bit of a dynamic, a little bit of a variety, if you will, and, um, these things, bright crimson red, they're showing up maroon on the camera, but I swear to you, they're as red as the record button on my tablet so yeah this is it's gonna be like sleeping inside a coffin these things I can't wait to use them they're gonna look so bitching with my black fur blanket they're gonna look even better against the navy blue night sky shade of sheets that I've got underneath them but they're gonna and I have two pillows too one well three if you count the decorative Michaels you know, Big Watts spiderweb pillow or whatever uh, maybe I'll show you that sometime soon in another video but uh, there's two other things I got from Walmart. Um, I have yet to try them, but it's um, two cans of temporary hairspray color. One in gray and the other in like a red uh, maroon type of color. I got this one based on Sean Brennan, how he used to have his hair. He might possibly still have it now. I don't know. He seems to go from blonde to red and black from time to time. This one's, um, this one's just standard gray, because why not? I want to look like a geriatric, maybe. <laughs> and, um, I think the last couple of things in here, they're, um, they're simplistic, but they serve a purpose, especially for my next DIY, which, if you follow me on Gothic Amino, you'll know is, um, it, it, it's gonna be good. I haven't posted it yet. I haven't even posted the supplies yet. I don't even plan on showing you the supplies in this video, but it's it's going to be major. It's um, mostly inspired by Gothic Homemaking by Aurelia Voltaire. It's my first piece so far uh, since the skull fake lamp thing that I made with a candle, but, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll get into that later. This is just some um, jute twine that I got at the dollar store. Some of it's green. The ones on the end are um, standard brown. I'm going to find some use out of that. And the last thing is this roll of painter's tape here because I use a lot of it for my paper mache shrunken heads, which you may or may not have seen some of on Gothic Amino. Uh, I think I posted a picture of one. I'm going to be posting more, though, so it's, um, while it's in my head, I can't remember if it's on the page or not, if that makes any sense, but, um, yeah, that's, that, that's everything so far, so, I'll just put these back, I, I've, I've got them all on my toe right now, if you can tell, um, so, yeah, that's, that's just about everything, but I'm, I'm definitely not disappointed. Um, if you like, please like, feel free to share your obscure little thoughts in the comments below. Share this video with any and all who may or may not be interested. Subscribe if you have yet to do so, or if you wish to see more. And as always, thank you so very much for watching, and I love you all.